I'm driving along and I'm thinking about the day. Sometimes I start thinking about my community and where we're at and the journey that we're on. And so it's a form of prayer, really. I rarely get that time sometimes, but I try to enjoy it when I get it. We come from all walks of life, and we all have a story. That's what connects us. These are the stories that make us CCA. My name is Delia Herrera, and I am a chaplain in Texas. In high school is when I uh, had a religious experience. God was telling me, I want you to be a nun. And I met a missionary catechist of Divine Providence sister. She was a nun, not in a habit, dressed just like you and me, uh, and very human. I thought that's someone I could be because I, I am very human. My mom, she feels blessed to have a, a nun in the family. However, I'm not in the habit. So it's hard for her to explain to people that I am a nun. And we don't wear a habit. And uh, not, not since the 60s. This to her says nun. <laughs> so she loves it. And this is the one that she always will show to people. This is my daughter, the nun but that's not who I am. <laughs> my church is still St. Joseph's, St. Joseph's Catholic Church. It's my home church. I've been attending here since we moved to St. Angelo, since I was about five years old. It does bring back memories. In our community, what we usually do is that we enter into a period of discernment where we seek God's will as to where we're supposed to go, how we're supposed to go, where we go. I have never worked in prison ministry before. And so I went ahead and applied. Well, I finally received a call for an interview with Eden. I was offered the position. I thought, well, I guess God wants me there. I thought it was very unusual. So I accepted the position. Ministry in a prison is a different type of compassionate presence. Senor, buenos dias. So how are things going for you? You okay? I said one day at a time. That is true. I'm doing good. I'm doing very good. My job as the chaplain is really to be able to facilitate the religious needs of the inmates. There's something about being a chaplain that frees up people. It, there's almost an instantaneous trust in some aspect of it. For the staff, I provide a, a, a way for them to just be able to vent their frustration. What I assist the facility in really is being able to create that stable environment to where inmates are able to be doing something constructive and fill up their time and they're able to live and do their time peacefully. One of the things that they do in hobby craft is that they go ahead and they make things and sometimes it's as a gift for family. A lot of times what they do is this is how they earn a little bit of more money. He's planning to go back home and open up his own little stand and be able to create these products and sell them and be able to support himself and not get involved with criminal activity that will send him back to prison. So it's all for a good thing. The best thing that I can hope for an inmate who comes through here is that he develops that connection with the sacred, whatever that may be for them. There's gotta be that connection to God, whoever God is for you. 
And I would hope that that is what they get out of here, that they get that deepening relationship aspect, because that will address everything else they've got. Community, family, their job, whatever it is. If that's the basic foundation, then they've got the world. My name is Sister Delia Herrera, and I am a chaplain in Texas and a Roman Catholic nun, and I am CCA. Thank you.